YouTube, Christian Pepper Gal here. And just the other day I uploaded a video of a chicken fettuccine alfredo with broccoli meal in a bag. We put that together and now today I would like to show you how I'm going to cook this meal in the bag. So why don't you come along with me. To get started, first thing we need to do is open the meal. Um, open the bag, I should say. Uh, either way it works. I can never get these to pull open, so I have to use the scissors on them. That's a something that might be good to know in the future if you ever have an emergency situation. Make sure you have a pair of scissors on hand so that you can open your meals with them. This has the zip lock, which I'm unzipping now. And inside, as you can see there, there is an oxygen absorber, which I need to remove. There you go. Got that out. And then all I need to do to get this started cooking is just add some boiling water. So hang on just a moment. Let me grab that boiling water. Here I have one and a half cups of boiling water. I just boiled it in the microwave because that's the quickest and easiest way for me to do it. And I'm going to go ahead and pour it into this bag. You can see what I'm doing. It's one and a half cups. Did I mention that? Sometimes as we get older, we don't remember things. Short-term and long-term memory can be affected. So I'm just stirring everything up in here. Here we go, stirring and stirring and stirring. And it's very warm. So let me show you what it looks like in there with the water. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close it up. That's one of the reasons I like these zipper mylar bags because you can cook your meal right in so easily. If you don't have the zipper ones, that's okay. You can um, fold it down and use a paper clip or um, any kind of clip to hold it shut, to hold it closed. This is a koozie or cozy. I don't know how you pronounce it, for my bags, for my Mylar bag, meals in a bag. Now I'm going to take this and put my meal right inside here. And what this will do is it will insulate my bag while it's cooking. And it'll hold all that heat in from that water and it, it will help it to cook maybe possibly faster and better. But I'm going to leave it set here on the counter now for 15 to 20 minutes. I'll come back at about halfway and check it and stir it. So I'll be back in just a moment. So I'm back and it's been about oh seven and a half minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the Mylar bag with our meal in it out of the cozy. Open it up, take a look inside. Give it a stir. And stirring mostly is just so we don't have any clumps and so the pasta doesn't stick together. Still quite warm, but I'm gonna give you a look see. You can see that that is mixed up pretty good. It still needs to um absorb the moisture, the water. So seal it back up and put it back in the cozy. Let it sit for another, oh, eight minutes or so. And then I'll be back to check on it again. Okay, so it has actually been about 13 minutes since I last checked the meal in the bag. And the reason I let it set for a little bit longer was because it, of all the moisture, the water that was still in the 
in the bag itself it just needs to thicken up a little bit so i thought if we let it sit for a little bit longer that would help with that so i'm going to stir it up again actually still a little bit runny but I'm gonna go ahead and show you without trying not to drip all over the place here what it's looking like now give you a close-up to that but I'm gonna leave it sit not in the cozy but just let it sit open so it can cool down a little bit so that it will thicken up because there's still quite a bit of runny liquids in there. I don't know how well you can tell on the camera, but um, so I'm going to let it sit and cool down for about five more minutes. Then I'll be back and we'll check on it. Action. And I am back again. Actually, it's been 10 minutes that I let it sit to cool down somewhat. Now I'm going to have to adjust the recipe. Yeah, it's embarrassing and I hate to admit that. <laughs> but I'm going to have to add that we need to let it sit and cool down um, for the sauces to thicken up in it. So I will add that onto the recipe before I post it down below. So I'm gonna ahead and stir it up. And what I'm going to do now, it's thickened up quite a bit. It's still got some liquid to it, but as you eat it, that's going to um, absorb into the food because it's going to cool down more. But I'm going to go ahead and pour it into this bowl right here so you can see what it actually looks like. And then I'm going to give it a taste. So I'm going to pour it into here, which you will not be doing this when it is uh, an emergency meal or if you're out camping or hiking. Most likely will not be pouring it into a bowl to eat it <laughs> or a pan or anything. So, as you can see, it's not extremely runny, but it is a little bit more runny. That if we let it sit in the bowl and eat it, it's going to definitely cool down. So, I'm assuming and hoping it's going to cool down more in the bag, too. When I test my recipes, I don't normally test them in the Mylar bag. I test them using the microwave instructions on the recipe instructions that I will have linked down below. So that's why I wasn't aware that it was going to need to sit and cool. I will adjust that recipe and it's going to taste just as good once it is adjusted. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a bite now. Or <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste now. Mmm. 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 Wow. This is so, so good and so flavorful. I'm not having a problem with this, but I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to adjust the recipe. I'll probably bring the water down to about, instead of one and a half cups, to one and a fourth cups. And then add the let it sit and cool for a little bit as well. So... Here goes. Mm -hmm. It is really, really good, you guys. Just look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Num. Nummy, nummy. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Well, this worked out good for me because it's supper time right now. So I'm going to go ahead and scarf this down. <laughs> All right. So. Be looking for the next video coming up. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please click on the like button down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button as well. And the bell, which is next to it. Um, click on that to choose all notifications or notification of all videos. Something to that effect. So... Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped you. 
um, to learn how to expand your emergency food preps. So until next time, happy prepping and God bless.